Hi guys, so I am back here with another video. Just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, this is kind of a continuation of the last video. Um, I just had too much stuff in one video, so I thought I'd break it up into Ninja Turtles and then everything else since I had gotten so much Ninja Turtles stuff the last video. So this video is gonna be also uh, kind of cram packed of stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump in and get started. Um, let's start with this stuff here. Um, so, first up, I got X-Men Black Juggernaut cover J. Scott Campbell. Uh, Emma Frost, X-Men Black, J. Scott Campbell. Uh, crappy Ninja Turtle Adventures, uh, says 99 cents on it, but I think I paid 70 cents for it or something. Um, yeah, really bad shape, so... Uh, another X-Men Black uh, Magneto J. Scott Campbell, which I think I already have all these ordered through Big Bad Toy Stores, or uh, not Big Bad Toy Store, Unknown Comics, so, oh well. Uh, Mystique, X-Men Black number one, J. Scott Campbell. And they also, at the comic shop, threw in a bunch of free books, so Hellblazer... And garbage stuff that no one cares about. Superior Spider-Man. And then I picked up Harley Quinn uh, 52, the Hollow Fool cover. And one of the bettest looking Batman covers I've seen in a long time. I gotta zoom out so you can see this here. That is just an awesome cover. Um, I'm not even sure who did it, but it is uh, Robinson, maybe? Um, either way, it's a beautiful cover. Um, man, I didn't realize that there was an edge that was messed up here. Oh, well. Then I picked up two of these. Um, gosh, who did the cover of that? Was it, um, I don't know who did the cover of these, but I picked up two of them. Uh, that is just a beautiful Batgirl cover. And you can definitely tell she's a redhead in that. I mean, that's gorgeous redhead ginger. Some people don't like redheads and gingers. I do. Mr. Miracle. Uh, oh, what was this? Number one? I think it's issue number one. Uh, it says two bucks, but I actually got it for free. Then I also, from eBay, picked up these. Um, Mark Bellamo's uh, Guide to Transformers. It's got basically all the G1 figures. So um, let's say you're wanting to see... Uh, here, Shockwave. So it shows you all the parts that are easily lost, uh, both modes. But the best part is, if you look right here, it'll tell you Mint Loose Complete, Working Electronics, 85 to 125. Now that's Mint Condition. Mint Inbox, Working Electronics, 125 to 165. Um, so here's the uh, Devastator, and it shows you all the parts that the different robots came with. Very good book. Um, then I also had picked up the Star Wars book. Um, I was wanting to actually look something up in here anyway while I've got it open. Uh, same guy made this book too. Um, so here is the Power of the Force stuff. What I was looking for was the ridiculous price on some of these coins, especially the uh, later ones, like that Boba Fett up here that's two twenty-five. These coins are some of them are ridiculous. Um, these are all the mail away coins, so they are pretty pricey. Uh, where are you, Luke, in Stormtrooper costume? So there's a Luke Skywalker mint loose complete, 95 bucks to 115 bucks. Um, I know someone who basically just got one of those, so um, the coin itself is 14 to 18 bucks, so that's really cool that it tells you all that stuff in here. Oops. We're back. All right. So yeah, very happy to have those books and these comic books, especially the J. Scott Campbell stuff. I was just bitching a few episodes ago about how you can't find any J. Scott Campbell stuff without paying a premium for it, and there you go. Uh, next up, let's just go through this stuff here. Um, picked up uh, Art of Spawn, issue 131 cover art. Um, just cool cover. I've been wanting that one. Um... Then I picked up Rekar, Walgreens exclusive. Cost me 20 freaking bucks for basically a repaint. So, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a repaint of... I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's a repaint, though. Then I picked up 
Uh, Silver Surfer. Another Walgreens exclusive. And while we're on Walgreens exclusives, oh, picked up Magic. So happy to have this one. That is such a cool figure. I've actually liked Magic in comic books for a long time. Um, someone had made the comment that she looks like a child in this. Really creeps me out that ever since that, because now if you cover up the face, it really looks like a little kid and or something. I don't know. It's creeping me out. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. It's a cool figure. I love all the accessories with it. Um, I may have to take that head off and put it on a different body and make a custom because the body just creeps me out. It's just, it just seems like a tiny, tiny body for the rest of the figure. Um, I know she's supposed to look younger in it, but then you start looking over here. That is not a little kid when you see that art. That does not look like a little kid. Yeah. Looks like a little kid. Anyway. Um, yeah, so it's creeping me out. I don't like that. Um... Anyway, uh, did pick up this Transformers collector case that is in pretty rough shape. Um, I have cleaned it up a little bit. I think I can probably get a little bit more off of it, but I'm not going to mess with it. This was free. It was kind of a throwaway kind of thing, and I decided if they didn't want it, I will take it. Um, next up, is that all that stuff I got? Okay. We will jump into... Um, these box old stuff and we're gonna see if we can push all of that stuff to the back there make room for all of this stuff so like last time we will just do um here i'll do this over here to the side so you can kind of still see that stuff um so i picked up one of the old gremlins figures he's kind of yellowed but yeah um this isn't new, but what is new is the fist. And even though the second one's not on here, um, the other fist is in this box. Um, picked up, uh, this isn't new. Also, I just the cape is new. I didn't have the outer cape for mine, so now I do. So now I just need the spear. Uh, picked up a Marvel Legends Phoenix. Um, I just didn't have this one. And for the price I paid for, it was just worth it um he is not also new um but his fists are so i got found vintage fist for him as well um those were not those are not cheap definitely not cheap next up got an x-wing for the micro machines fleet things and i just i just think these things look really cool sitting on my shelf i know they're not really worth anything but i like them i think they're neat um yeah next up picked up this giant freaking Batman figure from the animated series. Uh, he is... Let me pull this back here or scoot him back. I can't even get him in the frame. Uh, it's like a 12-inch Batman um, that doesn't stand very well. He's very top-heavy and the cape you can feel is just like a very heavy rubber. So it is just wanting to knock this figure straight over. So I'm going to make a stand for him somehow and he just looks like a really good animated statue. So, yeah. Next up, I got a little uh, cliff jumper bumblebee. Um, there's only one problem. He's got all those rubber tires. He's original. No head. So if anyone would like to give me a little head, I'd really appreciate if someone would give me a little head for the cliff jumper. Don't be pervs. I would actually buy one. I've actually been looking on eBay and I found the red versions. I cannot find a yellow version of Cliff Jumper's head. Um, yeah. So that is what that is. I still am very happy to have that though. Uh, next up, uh, vintage um, uh, Hoth soldier uh, trooper. Yep. Nothing special there. Uh, next up. 
uh, Luke Skywalker. Actually, this is not the Luke version. This is the battle damage damaged version. Um, but this is the uh, Action Fleet Snowspeeder. And oh, Transformers! Let's do some Transformers. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome figure. This is the Ravage figure, and I love it very much. Um, very, very cool. I didn't even know that they had made this figure. I thought I'd seen a smaller Ravage at one point. I didn't really care for it, but I like this one, even though it's completely out of scale with all the rest of them. I love this figure. I just think it's such a cool, posable figure. The alt mode's kind of terrible, but um, yeah. That figure is freaking awesome. So, happy to have that. Uh, let's grab this guy here. This is a Hunt for Decepticon. What was his name? Condor? Maybe he turns into a black, uh, like an Apache helicopter and he's got his missiles, but look at this face. It's got like a little skydiving kind of style helmet. Um, it's got tons of light piping or at least the back whole, whole back plate is translucent. Um, but when you actually look at his face, there's a little bit of light piping that comes in there, but not much. Um, but he was complete, and I just thought he was a real cool figure. Uh, one I did not have. And a lot of those Hunt for Decepticons were cool figures. Uh, what else can I grab in here? Um, so I picked up this. Uh, this is a G2 Jazz. Um, he's basically throwaway. Um, he, he's all yellow. Um, he really needs new stickers, but he is missing the, the roof hatch section here. Um, this is one of my, uh, favorite figures. I want a G2 complete jazz. Um, I had one when I was a kid, so I really want another one. Um, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I'm missing the roof section there. So it should, yeah. If you guys know Transformers, you know what it should look like, but that's kind of sad that he's in this bad a condition. I don't even know why I picked it up in that condition because I don't think he's salvageable, but we'll see. Then I picked up uh, this medic bot, and he was broken, so I had to, I don't know if you can really see, I had to super glue this whole back section back on. So I got him for basically free, um, but I had to do some work on him to get him. So either way, I'm still that's still cool to have. Uh, next up, nothing in that bag. Uh... This is a G2 Drench or Quench, something like that. I think he's got a little spray pack that's supposed to fit on the back back here. Um, I found one on eBay, and it's basically uh, $15, or I can buy one of these 100% complete for $15. So, yeah. So, unless I find that piece out in the wild, he will stay incomplete. Um, but this was from the kind of lousy G2 designs, unless they just did a straight-up repaint from a figure that they already knew was a good figure. Um, let's look in this little bag here. Uh, one of my buddies gave me this. Uh, Xavier. He said, I don't want it because we're getting a new Xavier, so you can have it kind of thing. Um, yeah. It's a free Xavier. Why wouldn't you take it? And also, I picked up a Rancor, or a, you know, guard um, with Zax. So, yeah, another vintage Star Wars. Uh, what I end up with? Three or four vintage Star Wars figures this run? It's not bad. I'm slowly getting there. Unfortunately, I'll just have to try to find the weapons. All right, so this one's confusing the hell out of me. I think this is a knockoff Cheetor. But I cannot find one like him anywhere. So if anyone knows anything about Beast Wars, let me know. Um, he, his face isn't painted, and he's completely blue. Uh, he's not Takara. He's not a Hasbro that I can find. Um, I think he is just a straight-up knockoff. But I have no idea. Um, I cannot find any kind of markings on him anywhere. Um... Yeah, that's the reason I grabbed him was just because um, 
I'm pretty sure he's a knockoff, and I just thought he was kind of cool um, that he's painted that way. Uh, the only thing that was gold painted on him was the eyes, which is weird that they'd paint that, but not the rest of his face. So, um, yeah. What's left in my magic box here? There is one of the uh, other prime fists. And picked up this tiny little Scorponok that transforms and he's all articulated and stuff. Um, will someone tell me if this figure uh, is supposed to go with another figure? I feel like he was supposed to be um, part of a two-pack kind of thing. Like he was a came with a prime or some kind of other figure. Um, if someone knows, let me know. But I mean, his little things spin and his head's are his body's all articulated, so was his tail. Um, yeah, let me know if he came in a two-pack or was he just sold like this, if anyone knows. I'll uh, have to do some research on that and find out for sure. Um, anyway, a little scorpion. Uh, next up, there's still more in here. Uh, so I picked up uh, owner's or uh, Manuel, instruction Manuel um, for Roadbuster. Um, I thought this was the Human Alliance Roadbuster, but no, that's the Mech Tech. So I grabbed the wrong one. I have the Human Alliance Roadbuster, and this is the owner's manual for the Mech Tech version. So, well, that's kind of a waste. I didn't realize. I just kind of quickly, when I was scamming through them, I just seen this picture and thought, oh, I have that guy. I don't. Uh, what's next? Oh, I did, uh, picked up, uh, Beast Wars Tarantulas. Tarantulas. Um, he's missing basically an X missile over here and then this whole section over here. Uh, does have his gun with the boomerang on it. Boomerang grapple hook thing. Um, other than that, pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. Pretty happy to have him. Um, I think he had some pincers that went down here too. Oh wait, no he doesn't. That was his feet. His feet become the pincers. That's it. Um, anyway, so yeah. Don't they? Yeah, I think your feet become the pincers. Hold on. Yeah, there he is. Um... His arms become the pincers. That's what it was. Um, but he still does have his butt hook. So we'll shove that right back up his butt herd. There you go. Uh, but without his other legs, he can't really stay transformed together. So hopefully I'll be able to track down some extra legs at one point in time. Uh, next up, I picked up this. Uh, this was... Um, Oh, whatever his name was from Transformers movie. So this is the Human Alliance little buddy that goes with that, which I did not have. I think I had Michaela with one, and it was supposed to be him. Oh, I did pick up another Star Wars figure. So four vintage Star Wars figures. Uh, picked up a Farm Boy Luke because I did not have a Farm Boy Luke. So he's not in the greatest shape, but he'll do for now. For the price I paid, why not? Then I picked up a Gears... And this thing smells like it was set in the bottom of a sewer. It stinks. It smells bad. It looks like a GoBot. You can't tell me that's not a GoBot face. Um, but yeah, uh, he needs to be uh, ha have a really good restoration on him. So I might have to do a video on that. Um, a lot of it just depends on if I can get the wheels off. Because I don't think those wheels I can get off, so I might have to see if I can work around it. We'll see. That rust is going to be tough to get off. I might have to try some CLR or something like that. Um, yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll try restoration on this and see what happens. Um, I was going to ask if someone can tell me something, but maybe I can find out myself. Let's look. I'm going to look up. I want to see what that figure is missing. Uh, a, B, C, D. Could have swore your name's... There we go. Page 20. Uh, aha. Okay, so... 
according to this book that I just recently picked up, um, you're missing a part. What was supposed to be there? Looks like just a little metal piece. Can I, can I replace that? I might be able to fix that. Because I don't think it's any part of the transformation. It wasn't actually his head. So yeah, I might be able to... Uh, might be able to replace that. Make something that works. And then here is... Are you Bumper? No. You're not Bumper. You are... Yeah, this is a yellow cliff jumper. So he is missing his head. I just need... A little bit of head for him. Alright. We're almost done here, guys. Getting close. Getting real close. Oh, you just see my neutral case over there, did you? Just put the 4x4 four four in there. I'm going to have to do something to raise that up. Because that shelf, I don't like how there's a lot of dead space in those two shelves. So, I'm going to have to do something with those. Back to the toys. Um, I did pick up an axe. Because I thought this was for MP1. But I think it's actually for an MP10. Um, so I don't know what I'll do with that because I don't need an MP10X because I've already got one. Two of them, actually. And this guy, um, if you would have asked me, Ransack, that's his name. Okay. So this is Ransack, and if you can't tell, he's a little biplane. So he's got the two wings. Ugh. Anyway, this little figure has like a little skeletal head sculpt and he's just a really cool figure um he's from the movies obviously and it's just rain sack um little prop plane i just thought he was cool so that's all in that box so the last two things i picked up transformers related i'll slide this over here so you can see them um, was an iron hide. They said this one was broke and he didn't transform anymore. So I picked him up and turns out he does. Uh, that is not the gun for him. This is the um, blue version. So it's the um, uh, not power of the primes, but um, power of the Q. No, what was the thing inside a prime's chest? Power of the Spark of whatever. Power of the Spark, I think, maybe. Something like that. Um, spark of Leadership. God, what was the name of that thing inside of Prime's chest? God, I'm such an idiot right now. Anyway, that's what that thing is. It's the off-road version, Voyager class, I believe, Ironhide. Um, I'd much rather have a black version of Ironhide. That's the only version of Ironhide I have from the movies. So, yeah. Um, same way with this one. I'd much rather have the black version, but I'm still happy to have it. And that is the Jetfire figure. Um, he's close to being complete. Uh, the only He is missing his gun, missile, and um, uh, walking stick. But he does have all the parts. So if I ever run across the Prime version, that actually uh, I could put this stuff on Prime. Which, who knows, with all the Prime figures, I may actually have it. Unless I, for some reason, just sold it because I think I got rid of a bunch of Prime figures. Son of a bitch. I don't know. Anyway, I'm happy to have this, but unfortunately he is not the black version. The black version was a two-pack. Um, and this one obviously wasn't, but he's still a really good figure, except for this whole middle section here. I hate, I, I hate it with a passion. Um... Really, aside from, like, if you look at just this part of it, like, the, all the black and in the plane mode, he looks good. And even from the back, I think he looks good. But that whole uh, blue with all this light gray chest plating on it and stuff, um, I just, I don't know. This looks like absolute dog crap to me because they try to leave this mech tech thing in here. So it's got some parts that move. Um, and I just don't care for that stuff. Leave that crap out of there and just give me a transformer. 
I do think this one looks better than the new studio series that's coming out. Um, but yeah, that is all I've got. Uh, thank you for sticking around t for almost a half hour watching this. Sorry it took so long. Um, in case you uh, skip around the video like a lot of people do, because they only watch for like four minutes, so they obviously haven't watched the whole thing. Here's kind of an overview of what you missed. Uh, some stuff back there. Yeah, so thank you very, very much for sticking around and watching the video. I appreciate it, and hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.